Good morning, everybody. And we are on day 28 of Bob Goff's Live in Grace, Walk in Love. And today our passage comes from Luke 18, 27, which says, Jesus replied, what is impossible with man is possible with God. And Bob reflects. I love how much Jesus talked about kids when he taught. He spoke to audiences uh, packed with people who had memorized entire books of the Bible, religious leaders who were the who were the recognized authorities on religious truth, leaders in the community. I bet they expected to be commented by commended by Jesus for all their titles and degrees, and perhaps affirmed as the ones who should be the guides for everyone else. And yet this isn't how Jesus rolled. Instead, he pointed to a couple of kids and told everybody that if they wanted to find understanding, they would need to trade in their large complicated faith and have faith like a child. In other words, it wouldn't be when we earn the extra theological degrees or enter into formal ministry when faith leaps forward. Jesus said our faith will grow when we regain a sense of childlike wonder. Nothing is impossible to kids. Ask them what they want to be when they grow up and they'll tell you all in all sincerity. They're going to wear NASA suits and fly to the moon. Sometimes I wonder if the only reason more of them don't do it is because we adults spend the next few decades telling them they can't. It's like we have our hands on, our, on their shoulders as they sit and each time we tell them to get up and chance their dream, we also tell them why it won't work. With each of these words of correction, we push them down a little harder into their seats. But faith puts reason in its place. There's nothing wrong with using the minds God has given us. When our heads tell our hearts that our dreams are too big or that we should grow up and be more reasonable with our faith, this is just a reminder to go find your kids playing and park and watch them interact with the same world you're living in. Then take them to get snow cones with extra syrup. Get it all over your shirts and let them tell you about their big, messy, outrageous dreams. Children are the ones Jesus sent to be our guides because faith isn't figuring out what you're able to do. It's deciding what you're going to do even when you think we can't. And Bob asks, what's an outrageous dream you've buried that God might want you to dig up again? What a great thought. Let us have a brief moment of prayer. Gracious and loving Lord, we give you thanks for the reminders of our dreams. And may you surround us with a community of faith that will continue to encourage us and love us and support us to follow those dreams. Of course, in Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.